Hi guys and welcome to another Dad Rail video with me, Richard. And today's video is going to be a little bit different to what we usually do. Those of you who are regular viewers will know that I normally start these types of videos with a declaration at the bottom of the screen um, saying that what I say in these videos is my own opinion and that sort of thing. But uh, like I say, today's going to be a little bit different, so I don't need to have the declaration because I'm going to talk about an idea that I've had for keeping us all entertained and in touch during lockdown number two. And uh, hopefully, if everything goes well, there's something we can carry forward beyond lockdown and into the future. I will just add quickly that I've got some um, proper content coming out very soon as well. I'm trying to get away from me just sitting here uh, talking to you against a blank background, green screen background, um, trying to spruce things up a bit with some sort of footage of the, the subject matter that we're talking about. And I was doing really well. I had a video planned about um, leaves on the line and low adhesion, driving in low adhesion and, and that sort of thing. And I've been out and about filming, getting all the relevant shots. And I probably needed about four or five more shots to complete the video to get it out to you. But uh, alas, here we are staying at home again. Um, hopefully though, obviously being a key worker, a train driver, I'm allowed to go out and about on railway premises. So hopefully, I can get the footage um, over the next few weeks and I'll be able to get that video out to you. Um, I've also been working on some animations for rule specific videos, so watch this space and uh, hopefully they'll be coming out pretty soon. So here we are, November 2020 and back in a national lockdown. And that got me thinking about ways we can help each other. Um, I'm not wanting to turn this video into one about mental health as such. Um, there's lots of lots of great content about that. But this year has not been a great year for lots of people, myself included in that. And lockdown certainly doesn't help things. Now, talking a little bit about mental health, when you see adverts and you hear people talk about mental health, I find it's aimed at people that are having um, a really bad time or suffering from severe depression, anxiety, maybe having dark thoughts. And yes, we really do need to reach out to those people. And, and being in the railway industry, I've I've not been on the receiving end of anything like that myself, um, but a lot of my colleagues have, and, and obviously it's, it's not a good thing at all. So, I mean, if you are in that bracket, then oh, please, please, please do seek help. But what I really wanted to do was acknowledge that sometimes it's okay not to be okay. And that doesn't necessarily need to mean you're in a really bad place and you're in really, you're sort of in need of really urgent help. It's okay just to feel low or not yourself. You don't, to, to be having sort of a bad time of mental health, you don't need to be in a, in a really bad place. It's okay just, just not to be feeling yourself. And getting personal for a few seconds here, the last few months I've been, <laughs> I've been up and down like a yo-yo. I know most people have. I've had lots of uncertainty around work. I've had a few financial worries and just a lot of nothing um, generally getting on top of me. And whilst I've not had any dark thoughts or anything like that, I've not been feeling great at times. My mood's been really low. I mean, I'm really fortunate. I've got a really good support network around me. I've got my wife and my kids and, and colleagues at work and stuff like that, which has been fantastic. But I'm, I'm aware a lot of people haven't got that kind of support network. So, so yeah, the, the kind of point I wanted to get across is it's, it's OK not to be OK, especially if you're a young male like myself. There's a whole stigma about it. But honestly, it's OK not to be OK. So carrying on from that, I had an idea and if you follow my social media pages you would have seen me um, seen me asking about this on my Facebook page. On Thursday the 12th of November at 8pm UK time because I've got a few international followers, I'm going to be holding a Zoom call with about 20 people and the whole point of that is literally to pick a topic about the railway and just all have a chat and a cup of tea or a beer or whatever your poison is. I'm not looking to turn it into a self-help group or a Q&A with me or me hosting it. It's literally just a Zoom call where we can all get together, chat about railways and, and any given subject and just sort of all have a, a general laugh. The call's also going to be streamed live on this channel. So even if you don't want to be in the call, you can still get involved in the live stream chat or just watch it back at a later date. And if all goes to plan, hopefully it's, it'll benefit a few people that are feeling a bit isolated at the moment as well. But if all goes to plan, then hopefully it's something we can continue to do as a regular thing um, beyond lockdown. Just sort of getting together at home in a safe environment and just chatting about trains like you would down the pub <laughs> from, from the comfort of your own home, almost. So if you want to get involved and you're free on the Thursday, the 12th of November at 8 o'clock, here's what you need to do. Just send an email to zoom at dadrail.com. That's zoom at dadrail.com with your name. That's all you need to do. No other details, just your name. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sort through the emails. And if I do get more than 20 people interested, I'll um, pick some names at random. And I'll, and if you get picked at random, you'll get an email back from me 
um, just saying you've been picked and I'll give you details of how to join the call uh, in that email. So yeah, this is a trial idea. I'll see how it goes. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be a few um, teething problems in there, but fingers crossed we can make it work out. So again, if you want to join the call, just to chat about railway things, chat about trains, I don't know, what's the most uncomfortable train seat? I'm going for a 3779 series. Um, then what you need to do, yeah, just email your name to zoom at dadrail.com. And if, like I say, if you don't want to be in the call, you just want to watch it back, then it's going to be live streamed on the channel and that's going to be there uh, for you to watch forever, pretty much. So there we go, guys. That is my big idea for staying in contact with you guys. And hopefully we can we can get a sort of a bit of a community going. And uh, yeah, it'd be really nice to have that, that sort of two-way conversation. If you're bored in lockdown, then um, I've got some great videos you can watch. There's one up here that YouTube have kindly put up and there's, there's one down here as well. So do click on those and uh, yeah, let us know your thoughts on the project. And remember, zoom at dabrow.com. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And remember, create, share and inspire.